So, um, unfortunately, uh, Matt Hancock let us know in a press conference the other day that there's no um, easing of the measures for COVID in the UK for at least for the time being, which shouldn't be a much of a surprise considering how royally we fucked the situation up completely, didn't we? Right? Um, so the following, this is difficult to put a timeline on when the lockdown will be lifted. The health secretary said that there were early signs and measures were working, but it was not a moment to ease up. He said that there are 37,000 people in hospital with coronavirus in the UK, more people on ventilators than any other time in the whole pandemic. The pressure of the NHS remains high. We've got to get that case right down. He said the number of coronavirus cases in the UK has been falling, but the number of people in hospital remains high, as is the UK's death numbers. A further 592 people have died of UK COVID within 28 days of a positive test, and another 22,195 cases have been recorded. According to Monday's government figures, there are 4,076,000 4, people in hospital on ventilators. So all that is grim, but the most important stuff is the top bit right where finally in the press conference because we you know when they give these little speeches they have an opportunity for the press and journalists to ask questions i think there are some times where they they you have questions submitted by an audience but usually um it's questions from journalists and stuff and they're usually low ball crappy questions that no one really cares about but this is the first time we've kind of heard journalists pull the part some mp or some members of the government to task and ask for actual clear um guidelines and information as to when lockdown will be ended and i think it's because we finally all reached at the end of our tether so it's good to see them finally calling out the government but um maybe this is a little too late in terms of the accountability side of things i'm interested to see what happens um in our local elections right is it may i think may some sometime we have local elections I'm interested to see what happens because there's obviously this theory out there at the moment, which I've spoken about how they want to do this whole May Day opening up thing, right? They want to essentially get the economy back up and running around May Day, open up bars and restaurants and stuff in the hope that they can open it, in the hope that they can kickstart the economy and obviously provide a platform uh, for that G7 summit to take place. I think it's in Colchester or Cornwall, some one of those places, which, you know, you, the conspiracy theories are gonna have a a, a field day with that one in it right easing of the lockdowns only comes in place a couple of months before a big global um you know quasi big reset um meeting of european heavyweights in the middle of cornwall people are gonna have a field day but if that's the case there could be an argument for people just wanting to move on in may or just forgetting about it right about the about what happened because people's memories are short if people are allowed to go on holiday they're allowed to go to a pub they're allowed to go to a favorite restaurant maybe go to a nightclub or two when may elections come around um the government could easily spin it as a victory right hey we got you the vaccine we got you guys earlier out of the situation than you probably first envisioned so you know help us out a bit here right you kind of you know show us your support show us how you what that meant to you in that respect don't you think that I don't know. There's a part of me that thinks maybe they can hustle this into their favor. It sounds weird. It sounds far fetched, but I can definitely have seen it happened before in the past. And maybe it happens again. You never know. You never know.